With Qui-Gon Jinn being one of my most favorite characters in the Star Wars universe, I make this video with a somewhat heavy heart. And although a large part of my soul would love for Disney to fabricate some asinine way to bring him back to life, deep down I understand that he needed to die for plot things to plot. And I want to go ahead and discuss my reasons for that. For one, if he had gone on to train Anakin himself, I think it highly likely that Darth Vader, at least as we know him now, wouldn't exist. It's not to say that Obi-Wan isn't a capable mentor or a great Jedi in his own right, but he was very young, inexperienced, and had almost no confidence in himself when he first took on Anakin as an apprentice. Qui-Gon was just far more wise, confident, and patient, with an entire life of experience behind him. He would have been able to take on a much more fatherly role for Anakin, which would have made it much tougher for Palpatine to slip in the way he did. Qui-Gon also would have been much better equipped to deal with Anakin's hard-headedness and over-the-top confidence. He would have been way more likely to see the signs that Anakin was losing faith in the Jedi, considering that his own master had left the Order for very similar reasons, and even Qui-Gon himself had consistently had disagreements with the way that the Jedi Order did things. He just straight up would have been better able to relate with him, I think. Anakin and Obi-Wan were always a bit like fire and water, complete opposites. In the end, Anakin becoming Darth Vader was incredibly important to the bigger picture and fulfilling the prophecies. Becoming Vader put him in a unique position to be able to destroy Sidious and ultimately along with Luke become a savior of the entire galaxy. Qui-Gon Jinn was also the first Jedi to become a Force Ghost, only partially mastering the ability prior to his death, but years later he would fully master the ability to materialize himself. After meeting his end, he was able to pass on the ability to Yoda and most likely Obi-Wan as well something that would become very important later at the time of the original trilogy. I also think that it's quite possible that if Qui-Gon Jinn had lived past Episode 1, that the Clone Wars would have either been mostly avoided or turned out much differently. In the Age of Republic Qui-Gon Jinn comic, he confronts Yoda about some issues he has with the Jedi and the politicians that later become big problems during the Clone Wars. He thinks the Jedi are too close to the politicians and are seen by the galaxy as weapons or soldiers of the Republic. He's afraid that the people don't really understand the Force or the Jedi, again just assuming they are lapdogs of the Republic. He actually wants the Jedi Council to move off of Coruscant to separate themselves from the politics of the galaxy at least to some degree. I doubt he would have been in agreement that the Jedi should be generals for the Republic's army. In fact, I actually think he would have vehemently opposed it. Qui-Gon Jinn literally foresaw most of the problems with the Clone Wars years before they even started. He was also very nearly a council member, already declining an offer from them in the Master and Apprentice novel in order to finish Obi-Wan's training. I think it is likely that by the time the Clone Wars began, he actually would have had a seat. Could he have swayed some of the poor decisions made by the Order or even possibly seen through Palpatine's plans early enough to put a stop to them?